during the time of waiting for the police, he was throwing stuff at the windows and he was shouting through the letterbox and I was frightened but Stanley was really frightened and he had this like this little tent in his bedroom and he he said mum we've got we've got to go and hide in the tent and for me I think that was a, a I was so devastated that it has such an effect on my my baby However, he was still having contact with our son. He would interrogate Stanley, even though he was little, all the time about what I was doing. Did I have men to the house? He would ask Stanley about vehicles parked outside my house. So then I knew that he was then obviously watching me and knowing what was going on. So I knew then that he was either tracking me through my phone or he was tracking me somehow with a car. So I did take it to the garage. They really did think I was crackers. And um, they, but they agreed to look under my car and they were really, really good. And that is when they found the tracker. Veritas has been great to me more after the event now and I and, I, and it wasn't until I had said to, to Veritas I said you know what had been going on and I said oh you know if you want to stand outside my house all night and watch my house that's that's up to him and they go no that's not okay and I think it wasn't until that point I realised how bad it was. They don't look at the whole picture. They keep looking at that one individual report and not linking it up. If we don't have them, then more people are gonna die. And I think that really is the bottom line. More people will die. More people won't get the support. There's still, people will still continue to be stalked because they're not getting the support to help them because it's really hard work to keep going.